video kind of later than I wanted it to, but got shit going on. I got a life outside of here, so. But anyways, Bears coming down here to Atlanta this Sunday, facing the Falcons. Both teams uh, under 500. Uh, really, I mean, looking for that last possible pedal to go on a run down the stretch. So, really, for both these teams, if they want any hope, which, to be honest, you know, whether who even wins this game probably does. I mean, if we win this game, we'll probably have more hope than Chicago. I don't think Chicago has much hope, but one way or another, you know, if they want any possible chance of at least even being competitive sometime in December, they got to win this game. If they don't win this game, their season's pretty much over. And the Falcons season will probably be over. Uh, it should have The Falcons season should have been over last week. But it's not quite yet. We still only trail Tampa Bay by, like, what, a game in the division, which, yeah, I know, pretty fucking shocking, but... Hey, that's the reality of it. Where do things have happened? But I don't think we're winning this division. With that being said about this game, uh, I think it's a game that I think we can win. Uh, it's a game that I I'm going to pick us to win. I'm not 100% confident in saying that we will win. Because I, I think it's this simple at this point. If we can stop Justin Fields... From going off, not through the air, but with his legs. I think we got a really good chance to win. But what makes me really nervous and what should make every Falcons fan nervous about this game. Is if Justin Fields goes off with his legs, we're going to lose this game. Because we don't got... I mean, Michael Walker has been underperforming like hell this season. <laughs> So, we don't got, I mean, Evans is all right, but I mean, look at our linebackers. If they can't come out and stop fields and we can't get to them with our pass rush and take them down, then, I mean, really, it, it's going to be game over. If we can't stop their run game, it's going to be game over, and we got to get our run game going again. So, we we have the advantage, you know, get, having the mini buy or whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is really a must-win game. Uh, one, what, however you want to look at it, it's a must-win game for the Falcons at home in the bins. I do plan on going to the game. Uh, I'll probably wait to see because here, here's one thing. I looked and I mean tickets. You know, a couple of days ago, before even fees. I mean the cheapest fucking ticket to set up in the nosebleeds was like eighty fucking bucks each and I'm I don't know who the hell I mean I, I'm a diehard fan and if it were up to me I would go to every game but I don't know who the hell <laughs> not even I would pay $80 just to get into the fucking stadium basically to see two teams under 500 I I, I just don't get it I don't but I'm, I mean I'm not complaining I'm just saying you can take it however the fuck you want on, on that uh but I do think you know $80 just to get into that game is a little little outlandish I'll say that but I'm always gonna rent my Falcons I do plan on going to the game Sunday uh and I and I think we're gonna I think we're gonna win I think we're gonna get back on track uh, don't think it's a guarantee. I think you gotta stop Fields. You gotta, uh, Khalil Herbert just went out for the season for Chicago. David Montgomery can't stay fucking healthy. So, I think, and you look at it, we do have the rest. Uh, I think, I think these past two games, I don't think CP's been 100%, which I don't think anyone's 100% at this point, but I don't think CP's been 100%. I think... This is probably the healthiest Cordell Patterson we're going to get since, like, week three, which I think is very scary for Chicago. So, if we can stop fields, we can get the run game going, then, hey, I, I think we stand a good chance to win. But that that's simple. I, I think the Falcons are going to win. Uh, having the rest, being back at home, I think we pull off a narrow win, 26-23. Go Falcons.